Show us how to make amazing polka dot fashion that happens to be really in style right now is our very own fashionista, Miss Orly Shani. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait. no. Orly, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, uh, polka <laughs> dot. This has been around for a polka dot. Yeah, been around, sure right? has, sir. And then it went <laughs> super not cool for a super long time. <laughs> yeah, true. And it's, it's, back. it's back. It's back, yeah. And you know, sometimes we talk about this on the show a little bit. Sometimes it just takes a big designer to commit, commit, commit to something, bringing it back, and everyone just gets excited. Dolce & Gabbana. Committed big time, Look head to that. toe. Oh, wow. It is wow. so cool. That's it is. Beautiful. It's real, and they did it across the board. They did it in a large, large quantity of their pieces, that particular collection. And so it kind of just brought it back to look fresh again for sure. something that we had sort of written off as being a little outdated. Okay, so what Dalmatians we... become really popular now too. They're always in style. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. the latest Snapchat filter? Is it polka dots? Oh, no, it really? How yeah. adorable. All right, what do we need to do to get started? Okay, so what you need first is your dress. Um, there are a couple things to consider when you're thinking, or you can do this on anything, but your oh. garment, right? There's a few things to consider. We talk about how I like to test it out on something. Yeah, I yeah. did not listen to my own advice. Uh-oh. <laughs> Went ahead and just started on one of my heroes, and I paid the price. Okay. Oh, oh no. So a couple of things to think about when you're, when you're doing it. If you are picking a dress that has double layers like this, know that the paint is going to seep through to the bottom layer. Now, if you want that intentionally. You did it. I didn't want it intentionally, but I probably could have pretended so. So it seeped through and I laid my fabric flat on the floor and when I held it up, it no longer matched up right because the way well, fabric makes laid... it look cool though. I gotta be honest with you, I kinda like that. I totally did it on purpose, Debbie Matt <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you say so. Cool. Um, another thing to consider is not to let your children around it with their tiny cars, thinking it's a track, because what? that's what Connor did and I have all sorts of these things happening. So get it up high. So what I learned is you're gonna wanna use an ironing board, which is out of their way. You're gonna wanna cover that ironing board with plastic bags. So it doesn't go through the So it doesn't uh, yeah. seep through. And if your garment is double layered, like this cute little dress here, you're gonna wanna separate the outer layer and only put that layer on top. But truthfully, oh. can I say something? I like that it's not perfect. I like that it has texture and that yes. you can see through. It makes it look cooler and somehow like more vintagey, in my opinion. I think it's a hipper look. And you know what? That is kind of the way that this is being shown. The little fading here and the sort of um, circles in there, how there's spots that are missing, that's kind of the way that this is being shown now yeah. because it looks more custom and handmade yeah. and there's yeah. that texture. Um, so you're 100% right. That is actually a fun, a fun, uh, element of how you don't need to be perfect. So when you're buying your sponges, you guys can see there's all, if you lay these all next to each other, there's all these different sizes of sponges. This is gonna allow you to vary your shape if you want, like I did on this white one. I used tiny ones on the collar, then I got a little bit larger as we come down to the bust, and then I got even larger as we go down into the skirt. The one I'm wearing now is all one size, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So take your sponge, they've got these at craft stores, and you're gonna just dab into your paint. Now at the beginning, I'm gonna take it, just pick a spot, start anywhere, it doesn't matter. Let me see the end, how much paint you got on there? It's not that much. Camera, show camera how much. And see, it also doesn't have to be perfect all the way around no, either. No, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Although there is a big hole there. Let me okay. A little bit. No. Okay. All right, so maybe it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be better than what I just did. Okay. Okay, so now you just go down and plop it. Okay, oh, so okay. there's our first one. I would, um, I'm actually gonna put a little bit more paint in here. I would. Um, and you always just use the top. You just. You, yeah, well, you can, if you're doing a whole thing, I'd get a big bowl. But for right now, we can do, and you know what, let's mix colors. So what I'm gonna really? do, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here like this, and you come right here in between the two. With so are you trying to look for a consistent oh, that's pattern? So fun. Yeah, that's a good color. That's, that's Orly, so are you fun. trying to go like, I wanna make rows of these, or I don't want it to be uniform in you, nature? What you want is to go like this. This is the pattern that you want, okay, that kind so of, in between these two. What you don't want is one right here. So you don't okay. want squares. I do the next one right So now there. you go right in between those two, right. Oh. And so what I'll do is for her next one, I go in between hers. So say, oh, say, so pretty. say Rachel had a, 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 a yellow polka dot bikini in her, in her talent show, in her pageant. <laughs> Obviously. You may have gone further with that. Yes. She, she if, could have made I had, it. I could have yeah, made it maybe myself. Maybe that's what held you back even oh, further. If I if had, had only, this paint, so there's a lesson there. there is a, or <laughs> if it had only been your talent, then look. I yeah. could make my Where own would you be today? Where would you be today? How long does something like this take? 
So, okay, that's actually a very good question because again, lesson that I learned the first time around, what you wanna do is do everything that's available to you right now. Do this whole surface. Let this whole thing dry before you rotate it down and do the next section. Because uh. what I was doing is I was impatient, I did it, and I twisted it down like this. Oh, oh. no. Okay, yeah, moved yeah. on to the next. Yeah. And the paint will smush, it gets hit yeah. by something, all this fabric down here, which now has paint, gets touched with things you don't want it to get touched with. So. You don't really want to do that. So basically, this is the general process that you're going to do. And you just did two with one. You didn't reload every time. Okay, so one thing to consider with sponges is as you go, it's just the natural sort of way that a sponge is. It's going to soak up all that paint into the right. base of the uh. sponge. So when you, the surface is going to have less paint, but that doesn't mean there's not enough paint in the sponge. Inside. So like here, look at if I tap lightly, there's not enough. Yeah. But if I take it and I push, kind of forcing the paint to go down, we're going to get more paint, more out. paint out. So it's just cool. Yeah, yeah and those bit. little shapes. Exactly like her dress. That's what I like. The so the, the Dolce Gabbana one costs at least five thousand dollars. How much does something like this cost? Well, this costs four dollars for your paint, right? Okay. And maybe three dollars for your Too sponges. Much, I'm out. So it's not that it's 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 also not necessarily yeah. Keep going across exactly. It's so relaxed. Thing. It is kind of therapeutic, isn't it? It so is. So one other quick version I want to show you um, is if you want to okay. do something like this, these little, see that little pocket this there? Is, Did you yeah. make those for Mark? That's so nice. Obviously, yeah. this is his size. Yeah. Okay. So what you would do is just take a pencil eraser because it would be, it's really impossible to find a, a sponge really this small at all. So just take a pencil eraser and you're just going to use that as your sponge. That's really cool. Orly. And you just, and you do the same thing where you go in between. Right, so for each one you do, then the next one goes in between, and the next one goes in between, and that's how you, you create that pattern. You could do rhinestones inside. Oh, of look, those. see, you're already customizing your shorts, Mark. That's <laughs> what I love about you.